Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're doing our last basic note and express work. Uh, if you haven't followed, been following along with me, all pack managed packages with NPM and basic note and express, I've completed and done them in a production web app, um, which can be found at this URL. If you haven't done this, it, I'd recommend doing it because we're actually deploying a web app uh, to the real internet and then posting it over to here. And so now we're going to complete that one. Um, okay, basic note and express. Get data from post requests. Mount a post handler at the name of path. So, um, okay, it, it's the same path as before. Um, so if you see name, we actually have a name one. Uh, I think it's down here. Yeah, here we have name. So we have a get request at name. Now we want to make a post request at app. So it's going to be app.post. Um, we have prepared a form in the HTML front page. Um, yeah, and if we go npm start, we can see where we're running it now. Oh, this might break it. No, it doesn't. Okay, two. If I refresh the page, if I go to our local host, we have our form is right here. <clears throat> we'll submit data of exercise 10. It will submit the same data of exercise 10, the query string. If the body parser is configured correctly, you should find the parameters in the request.body. Have a look at the usual library example. So here, if we went to post, this is just an example, they're saying library. Uh, the, if we add the URL encoded body, so this is in the, this is kind of like the information that's passed from the um, body parser, and it looks the exact same. So request.body, we have a user ID, which is 546, so user ID, user ID, 546, 546, book ID. So this data turns into, at, in the request body, we get a JSON object with two key value pairs uh, associated with each of them. So we want to respond with the same JSON object as before, so name is equal to first name, last name, and test if your endpoint works using the HTML form we provided in the app front page. Uh, there are several, several other HTTP, HTTP methods other than get and post, and by convention, there is a correspondence between the HTTP verb and the operation you are going to execute on the server. The convention mapping is post, sometimes put, uh, create a new resource using the information sent with the request, get, read an existing resource without modifying it, put or patch, sometimes post. Uh, upstates a resource using the data sent, and delete, which deletes a resource. Uh, there are also a couple of other methods which are used to negotiate a connection with the server, except from Git, all the other methods listed above have a payload, the data in the request body. The body parser middleware works with these methods as well. Okay. And so we want to respond with the same JSON object as before and test if your endpoint works using the HTML form provided in the app front page. Okay, so what we wanna do is when we submit this, it's gonna do something. Now here we say post, and then it just went, nothing happened. So app.post, we wanna sit in here, we're going to add our path, right? So um, yeah, mount a post handler at path forward slash name. So we've got, we've got get up here, but we've got post here. And then so we're going to do something here, right? Function, we've got a request and a response. And uh, within the request and the response, we're going to do something. So let's see, it will submit the same de data exercise in the body parser. Should find the parameters in request.body. Have them look at the usual. Respond with the same JSON object as before. Okay, so let's see, let's console.log our request dot what is it body okay so for now i'm just going to save this this is just a quick test to see what we're working with so i'm going to start the server again i'm going to come back over and i'm going to refresh uh name um oh so this is just giving us a get post and so yeah what we want to do is come back to the root and then we're going to say well, we're going to pass in useful programmer and then we're gonna see what happens. If we submit this, we get an error. Log, invalid arguments passed to console.log. Arg.toString is not found. Requests.body. Interesting. 
Um, let's go back to the root page. And I'm going to inspect this element. If I look up here, we see the form is equal to name and the method is post. And so we want to do something with this. Hmm. If the body parser, you should find the parameters in object rec.body. Okay, well, what if we go rec.body.first? Let's save this, and then I'm going to stop the server and restart it. And then we'll go back and redo this useful programmer. And I'll submit this. Okay, cool. The re I've logged the rec.body.first. And... Um, Man, I wonder if we just go res.json. I wonder if we just do the exact same thing. Yeah. We respond with a JSON in which are we do our rec.body and rec.body.last. So now if I save this, we should be responding with a JSON object where the name, and we're getting the data from the form rather than from the query request or the params. So we've got params, queries, and then the body. Okay, save this, cancel the server, restart the server. And we're going to go back to the localhost. And in our form, we're going to write in some information. And we submit the page. And we're getting a response with a name and this. And so, yeah, that's pretty interesting, really. Because what we're doing here is we're serving in, we're serving out a form. And then instead of having somebody need to be able to do a query parameter where they're like, uh, you know, name, question mark, whatever is equal to useful programmer, this is the query param, or say something like uh, whatever uh, is equal to name or whatever like that, or it's just serving up people with a form in which they can submit data to our server, which I think is what we need to pass this test. Cool. Um, so yeah, it does seem to be working. We've got everything saved. So I'm going to cancel the um, local server. And what we need to do now is push our code to our production server. If we do anything here, with our right now I'm at our production server. And if we load that, uh, if we go useful programmer, uh, and we submit that, it just says not found. Because the route that the uh, form went to, even though it works locally here, if I inspect the thing, when we go to uh, the method of post to the action of name, that's just showing up as nothing. And so we want to push our local code to our production server. And so here are the logs on our production server on our Heroku. You log into Heroku and go to uh, more and then view logs. Uh, we can say we want to push our, our stuff up here. So we'll be able to see um, information that we we want to push our code up here, and the logs will show that we're doing that. So I'm going to say git diff. That shows that we've added this post API uh, endpoint. So git add. And so I'm going to git commit <clears throat> add post API endpoint at name path. And so we're going to say git push Heroku, because we're pushing to Heroku. And we want to push to the head of master. And so now our local machine is going to start interacting with the servers at Heroku. So <clears throat> somewhere in the Heroku, um, you know, server farm in a giant building with, you know, air conditioned servers, they're starting to kick on and they're starting to interact with my computer. And my computer's saying, you know, here's the environment, here's the binaries, here's the uh, dependencies. So we're adding the node manuals or the packages. We're building it. We're caching the thing. It's compressing. Okay, we've launched it. We've deployed to Heroku, and then we see here that the Heroku server went from, uh, it stopped all the processes, the processes had exited, we started the processes with npm start, and now the server's on. We've got our hello worlds logging from up here, and we've said the state has changed from starting to up. So now, if we go to our production app, and we, uh, I don't think we had to refresh the page, but let's do it, and we go to this form, and we say useful programmer, and we submit this, it works in production, which is great. I think that's what we wanted to do. So if we take the root URL of our publicly available server and we paste it into here, this should complete the challenges. 
Awesome. So now we have completed our basic node and express. So yeah, just to go over it again, what does it mean for node and express? Well, this project file is called node. It's a way of interacting and setting up this HTTP uh, request system. Um, then we set up, we require express. So we make a variable equal to an express app. Our app is equal to an express app. So our app works there. Um, this is just information related to passing the free code camp test. Uh, this is to save our environment configuration variables, and uh, we went through that in a previous lesson. And then we've added the body parser. Uh, we've got app.use, and so here we've got a middleware logger function, which you can see functioning uh, with our production app, because you know here we're logging out. Oh, the last thing that I did, I did a post one with a request of name, and then this is my current IP address. Um, and so that's uh, doing it there. And then we've got these different app.use middleware functions. Uh, this means that we're just loading the body parser. Here we're just console logging. And then we have our root directory, which is serving a view from an index file. And that makes it so that we can see this page. Uh, and this is an HTML file that we're being passed to. We're using Node and Express to pass uh, this HTML file to people if they visit this URL. And um, yeah, the rest is all, we've we set up Git responses to send JSON to people. Um, we've got a time thing when, in which we can get the current time for the server. If we go to slash now. So this is kind of like the most basic example of a server that you could possibly create. Uh, we've got an echo function, so we could say useful uh, programmer slash echo, and we'll get a JSON object that has an echo. Um, we have a name, which is a get function. So if we went uh, name with a query, I think you can go first and last like this. This, will, we, this we can um, send to the server, and the server will send us back a JSON object with a key value pair that we passed into it. And then we also have a post form, which works with an input form, uh, which we set up just now. And so John Doe could be sent in like that. And so we have a functioning running web application that anybody could visit on the internet. And even though it's a super basic um, web app, it's a functional one and it's really live on the internet. And I think that this is a really exciting project because now we're finally taking all the information that we've used in all the previous uh, free code camp lessons and we're actually building, you know, web applications, which is awesome. Um, so now all the information, all the stuff that we've done in all of these different sections can be used to build real web applications. And that's cool. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the basic node and express section. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. We're going to start working on uh, databases.